here where I'm mixing my chromatic black with the phthalo blue, the cadmium red, and the cadmium yellow. One tip is actually to mix, we know from our color wheel that the violet is the deepest tonal range in our color wheel and the yellow is the lightest. So it, it actually kind of makes the most sense to first make a violet with the red or you know that real dark with the blue and the red and then add in the yellow to cancel out any violet undertones that the paint might have. Um, if you get too much yellow in it, it goes to a neutral brown instead of a black. And it, you know, it can be really hard to tell when you're looking at that paint what's going on. It just looks dark and it's hard to tell what kind of undertone there is in there. You can take some, a little bit of white paint and your chromatic black and ooh, you're not seeing what I'm doing here and mix it to see if it is actually coming up neutral and to make sure it's not um, too blue, too red, too yellow, too brown um, as a check before you start doing your strips. This is really a chance for you to apply your um, your knowledge of compliments. So in this case, if this is all of a sudden looking a little too green, I just add a bit more red and take that greenness out of my mixture. So if it's looking too yellow, you can add, or too like brown, you can go back and add in more of the blue and the red. If it's looking too red, you need to add in more of the blue and the yellow, and, and you just are gonna balance out those colors. Um, trying to shoot for the center of that subtractive mix where they cancel each other out nicely.